Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss a primary element in your financial planning journey, and that is building an emergency fund. Now, there could be different situations in your life which would come to you as contingencies without any prior intimation. It could be in the form of accidents, health issues, job layoffs, as contingencies for which you might have to shell a big amount of money without wasting much time. So you need to have some funds sorted somewhere called emergency funds, which you can easily liquidate and pay off those contingencies. Now, the basic question to be asked here is one, how do you build this so-called emergency fund? And number two, where do you place, where do you place these emergency funds? Now, if you ask me, how do you build it? It's quite simple. You take your fixed expenses that you incur in a particular month say rent, say EMI on loan, EMI on car loan, EMI on housing loan or whatever, your fixed utility bills, take that amount to be X. You should try and contribute minimum six times this fixed expenses into your emergency fund avenue or account or whatever you call it. Well, if you contribute 12 times, 24 times, 36 times, well and good. But minimum six times, if you can contribute as emergency fund of six times of your fixed expenses that you can contribute as emergency funds, then it will be good. It'll be great. Now, the obvious question is, if you only have a monthly income of 30,000 rupees, then how will you contribute the six times X amount? Such a big figure. So what you can do is you can at least take 40 to 50% of this income that you receive in a month as salary income and then contribute and place it in your emergency fund account so that eventually down the lane in your uh, after your six out after the sixth seventh eighth ninth month you can come up to the 6x figure so if your income levels are quite low in the initial few months or years you can try and build some amount to the emergency fund so that eventually you'll reach the 6x figure and then you'll be like okay i have my fund account ready and now I can meet whatever contingencies and sleep peacefully without much headaches. Now, the second question that comes up is, where do you park these funds? There could be many options, but the first one would be the most famous avenue, and that is savings bank account. Well, ideally, it will be great if you can open another savings bank account in addition to whatever salary account that you have. And keep that account only for transferring this emergency fund. So use your salary account or your primary account for your expenditure, for your salary income and stuff like that. And use that second bank account only for this emergency fund. So that anything comes in future, you can take it from that bank account and then pay it and then refill the emergency fund account. So that is one avenue. The second avenue that you can think of is fixed deposits. Ideally, fixed deposits which are highly liquid and lock-in period is not there. There are some fixed deposits which wherein you put the money but you cannot take it out within so and so time. So try and search for liquid uh, uh, non lock-in period F, uh, FDs which you can uh, choose and invest your, uh, transfer your MC funds into so that tomorrow if a contingency comes then you can easily liquidate the FDs and then pay off the contingency. The third avenue would be something called as liquid funds, which you can try out. These are basically mutual funds readily available in the market, readily available in the market with no LIP again, that is lock-in period. And these are readily liquid, which means tomorrow, if I want to meet a contingency within 24 hours, I sell these mutual funds, these liquid mutual funds, and it will come back to my savings account. So this is again a place where you can park your emergency funds, which are quite liquid if you talk about savings bank account, FD or even liquid funds. So I hope I was able to make things clear through this particular video, a, pretty, a very short video. If you like this video, do show your support to us by hitting the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel to get notified about these videos whenever it is uploaded. Until then, take care and have a great day.